Let's say you don't know that much in cybersecurity or hacking specifically. If you're not comfortable with Linux, then I highly suggest you learn how to create a virtual machine. And then I suggest that you download Kali Linux. And you can look that up on YouTube, right? We have guides inside of this in Hack Academy as well, but this is very simple. Uh, just look up how to set up Kali Linux in uh, VirtualBox, something like that. And you will learn that. And then just look up free Linux course. It doesn't matter if it's outdated or not, to be honest. As long as it's teaching it on Ubuntu or Kali Linux, it should be perfectly fine for you. And just learn the basics, okay? Just actually get comfortable using Linux because it's very important. Yeah, just really just the basics, right? Just learn how to make file, move around, open things, close things, run some scripts, whatever. The next thing that's very important is just understanding the very basics of networking. Because networking in Linux is kind of something you need for the most part when it comes to cybersecurity. And you certainly need it for pen testing because it's building blocks, okay? Pen testing is building blocks off of those things. When you get into hacking, it's kind of assumed that you know the basics of networking. You know the basics of internal and external P addresses, and you understand the difference between ports, what some common ports are, right? Like 22 is SSH, port 80 is HTTP, and port 443 is HTTPS, right? Like just very basic stuff. You kind of understand this. I recommend you learn the very basics of DNS as well. That's also something very relevant. But after, and again, you have to spend a lot of time with this, right? Do a port scan, something like uh, Nmap, kind of understand what it does, understand roughly what firewalls does and how they work. After that, then if you just want to get straight into hacking, then I would recommend it. You can also just jump straight into hacking and learn the other things as a result as well. <laughs> you definitely can do that. It might not be the most recommended, but if it's more fun to you, then hell, go for it, okay? After this, you definitely should get some practical experience with hacking, okay? I will show you two I will show you two very simple CTFs, and don't worry if you find it very difficult. It's your first time doing this, and nothing is simple the first time. Eventually, this will become complete muscle memory to you, and you won't even think about doing it. You will, you're not going to do some skating trick kidney the first time you do it, but if you've done it for 20,000 hours, you're probably going to be pretty decent at it. So these are the two CTFs that I recommend you start out with. And if you get stuck, no, no worries. Just look up the CTF name and then walk through. And then look, walk through on YouTube if you prefer that. I recommend just sticking to finding very simple CTFs. You can use Try Hack Me to filter for it. This will really just get you into the groove. Over time, you will learn that there are some commonalities, right? Some, some really simple stuff like scan with the Nmap and you want to find all of the open ports. And then if you see a website, you always want to brute force and see all the directories, all of the files. You want to see if you can fingerprint, uh, essentially figuring out what service the website is running. Maybe it's running on a vulnerable service, like an outdated software that it actually has a public exploit attached to it that you can abuse so you can actually get a happy little shell on this uh, site in in the uh, ctf environment after you've done this or maybe before if you prefer is to look at our two our free ocp course here on youtube it's completely for free and it's a sneak peek of essentially what the full course uh, looks like to some extent it's obviously very, very compressed and it won't have as much value, of course, but it's still going to be massively useful to you. The, the full course is around 20 hours or so. <laughs> so it's uh, it's quite packed, but it's going to be super useful to you. And then also check out the little cheat sheet, uh, Excel cheat that we made, that will essentially cover most of the techniques that you need for the OCP. So if you're completely new to the OCP and you don't fully know what it is, or if you should take it, then... OCP is the most renowned and the most sought after certification when it comes to pen testing and really anything offensive in cybersecurity. It is an incredibly valuable certification because it teaches you both the actual practical. There are, there are certainly certifications out there that are more like multi-choice quiz and not actually hands-on keyboard real hacking. So that is why it's so valuable. But it's also just so incredibly renowned, as I said. Putting this on your CV will increase your chances of getting a job in cybersecurity massively. Okay. And if you want to get a job with ethical hacking or pen testing, then it's the most beneficial certification that you can take. Now you know that it's incredibly valuable. The question now is, okay, how do I actually get it? Um, it will probably feel completely overwhelming to you, but that's way better than feeling confused. It's, it's a lot better to feel just overwhelmed with not confused at all, because that means that all that remains is for you to put in the work. If again, 
this works amazing for you and you just keep learning and keep learning and keep learning and you know exactly what to do, then awesome. If you need more help with this, right, uh, then definitely check out the academy. You can ask me any question you want. Um, we have people of all different levels there. There's hundreds of students. Uh, people that are just taking the OCP, people that are brand new to hacking, people that are just learning the basics of Linux. Pretty much anything we have. And, um, and yeah, I definitely think you will find it super valuable. And even if you just want to, even if you're curious about the academy and you don't want to do the stuff before, that's fine. You can check it out for free with their free trial. And if you don't like it, no worries, you can cancel any time. But yeah, I think you will really, really like it. And if motivation is really what you need, then just being around hundreds of people and just knowing that people are studying constantly and people are learning, and it really incentivizes you to learn as well. I really hope this uh, video gave them some insight and uh, was useful to you. And I wish you the very best of on your journey and have an awesome day. Thank you.